Dr. Zaki, my question is that in these two countries, that is Gambia and Senegal, we do what we call GAMO. So, many people say that this is haram because the prophet never do it. And anything that the prophet do not do, we do it, it's a bidah. So my question is, is it GAMO haram or not? Many people, the brother said, many people in this country of Gambia and Senegal, they celebrate the birthday of the Prophet and anything what the Prophet did is haram. To say anything what the Prophet did not do is haram is wrong. Prophet did not wear a suit. I'm wearing a suit. <laughs> so wearing a suit is not haram. What the Prophet forbade and what Allah forbade, if you do that, that's haram. Second thing, if you do in your deen something what the prophet did not recommend what allah did not tell you what the prophet did not recommend which is not proven from quran and say hadith if you do in your deen that is called as bidah bidah means innovation like the example i gave earlier example i gave earlier that someone wants to add sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the akama or in the azan the prophet didn't do it so in your in the ibadah if you add something in the religion of Islam, what is not proven from Quran and Sahih Hadith, it is bidah. As far as Islam is concerned, you have to look at the Quran and the authentic Hadith, the sayings of the last and final message of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that in your deen, you look in the Quran, if you don't find the Quran, look in my example. If you don't find in my example, look in this generation, that the Sahabas. Then the next generation, that the Tabain. Then the next generation, Tabi Tabai. So these three generations are known as Salaf Salihin. For understanding Islam, you have to have proof from the Quran and Sahih Hadith. And to understand the Quran and Sahih Hadith, the best person who understood the Quran is the Prophet. After the Prophet, it is the Sahabas. The Sahabas never added Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after the other. Then it's the Tabai, then the Tabai, then Tabi Tabai. So if the Quran is the highest, number two comes the call, the commandment of the Prophet, then comes the action of the Prophet, then comes the, the saying and the action of the Sahabas. Then the Tabai and then the Tabi Tabai. Now regarding celebrating the birthday of the Prophet, there is no verse in the Quran that I know of, we say that you should celebrate the birthday of the Prophet. That is done by the Christians. The Christians celebrate the birthday of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. It is not even proven from the Bible that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on the 25th of December. It is the birthday of the Son God. That's another answer. There is no hadith in which the Prophet said, you should celebrate my birthday. None of the Sahaba celebrated the birthday. None of the Khulfa Rashidin, Haz Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman, Ali, may Allah be pleased with them all. None of them. So if you say, oh, because we love our Prophet, we want to celebrate the birthday. Can you love the Prophet more than the Sahabas? No. No. Allah, our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that if you put Hadad Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr Adilaw on, on one side, and the full Muslim Ummah, leaving aside the Anbiya, leaving aside the Prophet, Hadad Abu Bakr, May Allah be pleased with him. Him alone is heavier than the full Muslim Ummah, leaving aside the Ambiya. Another hadith, Hadad, uh, Hadad Uman, may Allah be pleased with him, on one side. And the full Muslim Ummah, leaving aside all the Ambiyas, and Hadad Abu Bakr, Hadad Umar alone, may Allah be pleased with him, is heavier than the full Ummah, leaving aside the Ambiya and Hadad Abu Bakr. Now, Hadad Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, never celebrated the birthday. Hazrat Umar did not celebrate the birthday. You want to be better than them. How can you be better? So you want to go against the Prophet? No. None of the Sahabas, not a single, show me a single Hadith in which the Sahabas celebrate the birthday. Even I will join you. Produce your proof if you are truthful. What do people do? People try and bring their innovation. You can bring your innovation in your lifestyle, no problem. Innovate and make a car, no problem. Make an aeroplane, no problem. In your deen, if you make any innovation, any bidah, you are booking your seat in the hellfire according to the Prophet. Therefore, for deen, look at the Quran and the Sayyidi. 
Hope that answers the question. Thank you, Captain.